Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new here. I'm Kay with Kay Digital Studio, and today I am doing a video on how to label your tabs for digital planners or digital notebooks or any other digital products you may have. So I get a lot of questions on how to label your tabs in digital planners and digital notebooks. Sometimes I'll have customers say that they label their tabs and then they go to flip to that tab and for some reason their labels have disappeared. Well, this is common. This is something that will happen with all digital planners or digital notebooks given that it is only a PDF file, but I do have a solution for you in how to make sure that all your tabs are labeled so whenever you flip to a certain tab, it'll still have the labels that you put. So without further ado, let's jump into the video so you can see exactly how to label your tabs. So I am going to be using one of my freebies as an example to show you how you, to label your tabs. So if you go to www.kdigitalstudio.com, that's my website. I am doing quite a bit of updating on my website, so it may not look exactly how it looks the day that I'm filming this, but the freebies will still be there for you all. So under my freebies, I have it pretty well organized of different subsections. So my planners and notebooks will obviously be under the planners and notebooks category and then it will take you to a Google Drive for which you can download free planners and notebooks. But I'm going to show you how to label tabs of a notebook and I'm going to use my Baby Yoda notebook as an example. So I'm just showing you how to export and later import into GoodNotes. Just a couple clicks so I'm going to import as a new document and into my desired folder in GoodNotes. And now that we are imported, I'm pulling up my notebook. So we're gonna learn how to label the tabs. It's the same process of labeling tabs in notebooks as it is in planners. So I figured this would be a great option just to show you what's available in my freebie drive. So I like to label my tabs using the text tool, but you also can use your own handwriting. So I'm just going to make up something like notes, however you wanna label your tabs go in and change the text. Since the tabs are pretty dark on the Baby Yoda notebook, I'm going to use a white text, even though you can't really see that since I'm editing it on the white page. But if you pull it over, you'll see it. And then you're just gonna rotate it and orient it on the tab how you wish. So I'm just zooming in and fixing it. I copied and pasted. And then I'll go back into my text tool to edit. So let's say you wanna name it something like biology if you were doing a notebook for your classes. And then I'll go in and paste again. And this is basically the premise of labeling your tabs. I'm gonna go in and edit it. And so, like I said, you can use this for planners. So you can name it finances if you have a finances tab for your planner. And then you will just repeat the process. So now I'm just coming up with different tab names, just an example and to make this video not super long, I'm just going to lasso and copy some of the tab labels I already made. Obviously, you would go in and name each of your tabs whatever you want. So now that I have all my tabs labeled, I'm going to go in and I'm going to lasso all of them and copy. And then you're going to go to your other pages and obviously you see that they're not labeled here, it's just a PDF file. So then you will then paste all of your tabs on that one page. And then you will repeat for all the pages in your planner. If you have a lot of pages in your planner, this can get really tedious, but if you take five or six minutes of your time to label all your tabs and then lasso and copy it at once then you will cut down a lot on the time that it takes to label the tabs. So Baby Yoda has quite a bit of pages just because I have indexes for each of the tabs, but like I said, you'll go in and you'll copy and paste all of your labels on the tabs. And this is how you can get all your tabs labeled in GoodNotes. Since it is a PDF file, this is the only way that you can label your tabs, but once you have all your tabs labeled, if you were to click any of the tabs, all the labels would still be there from where you copy and pasted the labels previously. 
If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you in labeling your tabs. If you have any questions, I'll try to address any down in the comments below. Please don't forget to also like and subscribe if you haven't already. It really shows me that you're taking the extra step to support me and my channel further. Yeah, so I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.